structurally on a molecular level, are those molecules moving around a lot? What is it that makes a great teacher? One who is creative and truly connects with every student and makes learning fun with humor. <laughs> Greenville Junior High School science teacher Jackie Bloomer is that unforgettable teacher. Allowing kids to be more creative and interactive with what they're doing in science allows a much deeper understanding of what they're learning. If they're excited about what they're learning about, then they're going to understand it better. So I try really hard to make every assignment that I do and every activity, I think a lot, a lot about it, so that what I'm giving them is something that they're going to enjoy. Okay, go. You haven't shared that with me. Oh, is that I really like this way of learning because on books you're just reading something and you don't really get how hard it is, but whenever you're doing like actual experience, you're like, wow, how did they do this? Ooh, did you see what's happening there? Yeah. What was it? It fell. What was happening? I like how like I can get taught by like people that actually know about the real stuff. I staged a whole CSI murder unit where the kids had to look at the evidence and figure out who killed the unknown person in the room. To make it even better, I brought in um, a CSI from the Illinois State Police. I brought in the coroner. They both came in and they spoke to my kids about what their job is and how they do it. And that was super eye-opening to them. One of the things that stands out with Jackie Bloomer is her method of inspiring yeah, children okay, to go a little bit further quick, beyond where they, they typically are. They were good. Yay. They were not changing until I pulled them out. So excellent job. So you passed both of your tests. Good yes. job. Yes. We got it. In this class you get to do lots of like hands-on stuff and learning instead of just like reading word for word what's in the book and answering a few questions. You can't do everything on your own. You have to use the whole group. Why we are selling this to you. The Comet 2019 are RDRL is a fashionable and safe space suit. It will help with whoever is, in, whoever is in it and has some neat special features and tools. One of the ways that I take kids out into the real world, um, I've done a few things. This year, uh, my kids were able to go to Challenger Learning Center, which is a hands-on, as close to real world space simulated mission you can get. Jackie's dedication to science education reaches beyond the classroom. She is the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics K-12 St. Louis STEM Chair, ALSI-1 Limitless Space Institute Educator, and is the 2022 AIAA and Challenger Learning Center National STEM Trailblazing Award winner. At this honors event, she was also awarded the grand prize of attending the Blue Origin launch of the Shepard rocket. Flight Director, New Shepard is go for launch. Keep it in five, four, and start. Two, one. Earlier in her career, Jackie Bloomer was one of the elite 26 NASA Explorer School Educator recipients across the United States. During the program, she and a colleague were granted an unforgettable experience of a lifetime to experience weightlessness. It was just fantastic of her to invite me, which is something I had always wanted to do since my childhood. And it was absolutely amazing. It's like no other feeling. The easiest way to explain it, it's kind of like swimming except there's no water. So just a simple movement of just touching a wall and you'd go flying across the cabin. It, it's just that whole Newton's law, you know, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? Well, in microgravity, you don't have a force of gravity pushing on you. So you just, you float. Today, inspiring and educating her students is a continued priority for Jackie Bloomer. I want them to know that it is okay to make mistakes and we learn from those mistakes and failure occurs when you don't do anything after you make a mistake. So if you don't succeed at something, you have to keep trying. I think science instruction definitely mirrors the real world. 